laboratory. Got to get up there and speak on the world's biggest problems. A challenge for the young entrepreneurs of the Cairo Society. Getting stoked. Yeah. World Observatory. I get the chance to go speak on the 100th floor. Bags in tow, straight to a flight after this. Get to talk about the world's biggest market gap. Something unaddressed by governments, by society, by business. Something that young entrepreneurs of the Cairo Society can attack. My topic of choice, planned obsolescence. The very phone I'm filming this on will be garbage in like a year because Apple wants it to be garbage so you'll buy a new one. It's terrible. All of the aluminum and gold and precious metals and everything else that's inside this thing get thrown in the landfill. It drives me nuts and it's time to change that. That's why we espouse the design for life philosophy that sectionals are built around. Not only is it built to last a lifetime, but it can be designed to evolve so that you'll never grow tired of it. That couch will never end up on your curb. We estimate that for every sectionals we sell, we prevent four couches from ending up in a landfill because sectionals can literally be with you the rest of your life. My challenge to entrepreneurs is to fight planned obsolescence through their own tactics or design philosophies because as much as I'm just a couch guy, there are people smarter than me in other industries that can make a huge difference in this world. Look at that Oculus. All right, I've heard this experience is pretty cool. Let's find out. Did you sit in one yet? I have. They're very comfortable. It's a little bit hard to get out of. That's right. That's our goal. I'm standing here with Beth. You know who Beth is? Beth is the reason we are all here. Am I, am I wrong about that? I am the mama. The, mama, the mama of Alex, who is the founder, like co-founder and, and executor of all of this. All of this. All of this is your son's fault. And box. when he was a little boy, he used to love to go into the love sack store. He did? And he loved the furniture and he wanted to buy everything. I can't make that stuff up. Where were you? Thousand Oaks, California. Thousand Oaks, California. We've been there like a decade. Yeah. You're yeah. a love sack mama. Yeah, I like that. I am. Like always that. cozy, always fun to roll around in this furniture. So in a roundabout way, I'm responsible for all. I mean, come on. I, I raised him too. Yeah. Let's be honest. Thanks, Love Sack. Mr. Tegman, what do you think? What do you think? I love it. I love it. You crushed it. Right. Yo. You, know, you know what? You don't even know what this guy's doing. Dude. You don't know what I do, but I'll make you better. It's Jordan Schlain. Look him up. Look him up. Uh, uh, what product is here today? Uh, we've got sack. We've got city sacks wearing elk fur covers. We've got sectionals uh, in the five series all throughout the building. And the best part is the Love Sack team was literally had like 29 minutes to get it all set up. Like I'm talking the entire 102nd floor of the World Trade Center um, set up in like 29 minutes flat. Sectionals up the elevator, sacks flat, and the shoes were, the, it was a total train wreck, and they still made it happen and brought the event off. It's been a hit. <laughs> we just did a massive undertaking. The scope was much bigger than we thought it was gonna be. It was intense, and we got the job done. Love sack away. No joke, actually changing the world. A lot of organizations say they're gonna do it, say they're gonna do big things. Cairo Society is the real deal. So I just got a chance to uh, selfie it up with the founder, Encore, a good friend of mine, who put all this together, invited us to be out here, have the furniture on site, which is always cool. Hanging out with princesses, with celebrities, with Hollywood people, with some of the most powerful marketing minds and billionaires on the planet. Probably the most well-attended, crazy guest list I've ever been to any event of any kind. 
and uh, it's been pretty amazing. And we're out, and I'm literally running. I'm not sure I'm gonna make this flight. I hate missing flights, it screws everything up. But I gotta get to Utah, I got some serious stuff to handle. <gasps> Thanks, man. Oh, this Uber driver's awesome, he called me, helped me uh, find him. It's not easy in New York, man. It could be crazy connecting with an Uber out here. Uber was gonna take 90 minutes in this traffic to make it to JFK. So now we're gonna run to the subway. Oh yeah, perfect. Only got bags and half hour to get to the airport on a train that's gonna take me an hour with 80 stops through Queens. And I'm in lower Manhattan. Not gonna make it. Flight takes off in 16 minutes. I'm not gonna make this flight. Made it!